exactly, yes. That means us. You know, again, speaking as a resolute atheist, God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> you can't ask what others will do. We have to ask what we will do. And I do think there's a real possibility now for reaching, reaching large numbers of people. Public opinion has changed. And not only public opinion in general has changed, but uh, in particular, and of significance in the U.S., case, uh, Jewish public opinion has shifted dramatically. Uh, most Jews, uh, uh, for reasons which I will not allow me to go on to, Jews are overwhelmingly liberal. That's their uh, mindset. Uh, in the last presidential election, 80% of American Jews voted for Barack Obama, which is actually a much higher percentage than Latinos. Latinos was about 63% vote for Barack Obama. Now, when you factor in income, because Jews are by far and away the richest religious ethnic group, religio-ethnic group in the United States, surpassing wasps, which when I was growing up, they were considered the richest. Jews are now by far and away the richest religious ethnic group in the United States. They should be voting Republican, you know, voting for their pocketbook. But in fact, they're not. They're voting Democratic. And in large part, it's because Jews are liberal. And being liberal means, in American, uh, in, in American lexicon, uh, being liberal means supporting the rule of law, supporting equality under the rule of law, supporting uh, peace internationally, uh, all the sorts of conventions we're accustomed to attaching to being liberal. Amnesty International is called a liberal organization. Everyone knows that. Human Rights Watch is called a liberal organization. And more and more Jews, especially younger Jews, are finding it more and more difficult to reconcile their liberal beliefs with what Israel is doing. It's just not possible anymore. If you're young, you're Jewish, you're liberal, you're on a college campus, you want to be in tune with the most enlightened currents in world politics. Well, how can you be in tune with those currents when Israel is raging against the democracy movement in Egypt? It's just very hard to be young, Jewish, liberal, and identify with a state that's reacting with dread at any movement towards the democratization of the Arab world. It's very hard to be young, Jewish, and liberal and to have to defend dropping white phosphorus on hospitals. It's very hard to be Jewish, young, and liberal, and listen to Israeli soldiers say it was like a child with a magnifying glass burning up ants. That's very hard to defend. And I'll tell you, it's to the credit, because I know there are quite a number of young Jewish students in the audience today. None of them is, I, can, I know, none of them is going to come up to the microphone and try to defend that. A Rush Limbaugh type might, a Sean Hannity type might, a Glenn Beck type might, but Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, they are not Jewish. <laughs> 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 not do that. That's not a sort of tribal issue. It's a political thing. You look at the polls. I've spent the last half year actually going through the liter literature. Uh, Jews are decidedly liberal. They have been since 19, since you know, Roosevelt, uh, when FDR came into power. Uh, the guy behind the New Deal. Uh, in his second election, he got an astonishing 95% of the Jewish vote. Already, interestingly enough, which I didn't know, already by 1944, already by 1944, Jews were among the richest economic groups in the United States. Yes, by 1944, I was surprised. But, all, but they have consistently voted and remained liberal. 70% of Jews identify themselves, for example, as Democratic of 20%, uh, Democratic Party, 20%, 23% identifying themselves as Republican. 
Sean Hathi, Glenn Beck, Sarah Palin. They're Republican. It's a mindset. And it's very hard. You'll have, you know, there are a handful of Jews who will defend that kind of stuff, but most will not. Because it's just morally 